What's up guys? Today I want to talk about Tika R Plus headlamp. Okay, first of all, it weighs four ounces and costs about 80 bucks. I think I'll link it down below. Petzl has done some really cool stuff with this flashlight line. It's got this little sensor right here that tells how bright it is. So if I turn it on in the day, it's not going to be as bright. But if it's dark, it will shine a lot brighter. And what that allows this light to do is when you have a piece of, say you're looking at a map, and it's shining it sees how bright it is and turns down so that way it's not like really bright on the piece of paper making it harder to see and then when you look up it gets really bright and shines and shows you everything so it's really cool how it can adjust to what you need it it's got two buttons on it one right here is the power and the one on the side is to change modes so when you turn it on it turns on in the mode that will dim itself as you look up and down then it will switch to a solid beam so if you want to switch to brighter you would go back to the power button hit that once it again and then back down to normal and if you want it super bright tap it twice and that'll light up everything and then of course it's got the red light and you can hit the power button and make it flash so it's got some cool stuff my favorite feature is this battery this is rechargeable so you can pop out this battery and charge it via USB with a micro USB and that is an amazing thing to have because if you have a battery pack like this one you can charge it anywhere so you don't have to worry about running out of batteries plus you're not spending money on batteries and you're not throwing a ton of batteries away they also do sell a pack like this that fits triple a's they say that if you go somewhere where you don't have access to power you can bring more but bringing this type of thing is way better because you can charge other devices as well so i don't really understand why you would ever want triple a's but it comes with this. So you can also buy du duplicates of these if you don't want to carry this for some reason. It is also water resistant and I've had it in the rain a couple times. Usually if it's raining, I have a hat on or a hood that goes over it to protect it. It's not waterproof. So if you drop it into a puddle or a lake or something, it's not gonna work. But for like light rain, it's fine. The headband on it is really comfortable. It's got these straps that go through themselves to tighten it. And I found you can wear these, you can wear it for a long time without being uncomfortable. The inside is like this really fuzzy stuff. And of course, it tilts. I think headlamps are getting pretty cool with the things that you can do. You can also plug this into your computer and manually change how bright you want it. So say you're on the dimmest setting. And I found that if you're just reading a book or something, it's kind of bright. So you can go into the computer and you can tell it that it's too bright and turn it down. So you can have it really dim, which will also save you battery and it'll save that in the light so every time you go to that setting it'll be dimmer also you could change the other ones depending on what you need i found the battery on this will last quite a few hours there was a couple times when i hiked in really early morning or in the night for over three hours and was fine didn't run out of battery i never had this thing die on me right here on the side there's a little led right now it's green because it's fully charged but it will turn to yellow when it only has like i think it still has like a half hour of use left when it turns yellow so it gives you a good warning of when it is about to die i really like this light and i would definitely suggest it to anyone i'll drop an amazon link in the description so you can check out what it costs right now if you have any questions about this light drop them in the comments or reach out to me on twitter if this was helpful at all hit the thumbs up and subscribe and you know all that other stuff so thank you guys for watching bye